with summer fast approaching, you may be trying to cut back on calories and stepping up your workout routine. Slimming down for the season can be healthy, but media messages of getting a summer body can also be harmful, especially for teenagers. Joining us now with advice for parents and teens on how to navigate the summer body trend is Dr. Homa Khan, an adolescent medicine physician at Advocate Children's Hospital. Thanks so much for joining us, doctor. I, I want to start by asking, you know, uh, summer can be triggering for all of us, <laughs> really, when it comes to how we look, but what is the concern with teens specifically? Well, I feel like I agree with you. When summer um, is here, it's common to hear in conversations, you know, let's get ready for summer. Let's have the perfect summer body or be swimsuit ready. And that language can be particularly harmful for a young person who is developmentally at a stage where they are really struggling to accept their changing body and really needing to fit in. How do you think social media and the fact that teenagers are really glued to their phones these days with all the social media sites, how has that impacted um, maybe or increased issues with body image, especially as we head into summer? Um, I think social media use can be problematic for sure. It's definitely a risk factor for development of eating disorder. But um, really, these media messages have been around for a long time, and eating disorder development is multifactorial. Um, there's genetics behind it, psychological aspects, um, personality traits that could make you more likely to develop one. Um, I think that you know social media is there, but what we can do in the home is really counter that by having a household that is focused on body positivity. What signs should parents look out for uh, that may indicate something more serious is going on in terms of body image and eating and, and the related you know, topics? So what parents can look out for is if they are noticing their teen is really focused on nutritional content, calorie counting, understanding fat content, reading labels, um, if they are um, starting to remove um, food groups from their diet, or if they are exercising excessively, having differences in the way they're eating, like cutting food into small pieces or taking a long time to eat. Um, it's also important for parents to know that eating disorders don't discriminate. They affect not only females, they affect males, people of all genders, ethnicities, cultures, religions, and socioeconomic demographics. So if there are these warning signs, let's say with somebody's daughter or teenage mm -hmm. son, what is the best way for a parent to start a conversation? Because as a parent myself, I know th those conversations can be very difficult and triggering in and among themselves. Yes, for sure. It, it's a difficult conversation. What I would do is choose a time that is calm and quiet and approach your child in a very calm, non-judgmental way and use I statements like I'm really worried about the way you've been eating. I'm really worried that you've been exercising a lot more and be prepared for anger, be prepared for denial, because sometimes that can happen. And that is a, a common feeling for somebody who's be, who has an eating disorder, who's being approached regarding their eating behaviors. But regardless, stay calm, listen and really encourage your child to come with you to a pediatrician appointment or a mental health professional appointment to seek help. And when should parents seek help uh, real quickly? I mean, at what point is there a is there a certain warning sign? That's a really good question. It's really as soon as you feel like my my child is losing weight or you're noticing these behaviors the sooner you get seen the sooner you're evaluated the better the sooner eating disorders are diagnosed the better the prognosis okay i really appreciate this because this is an ongoing and has been for a long time but definitely an ongoing concern for uh, yes. especially adolescents dr homa khan thank you so much for your insight this morning we really appreciate it thank you for having me